Harrison Hot Springs. It's not going well. The mole exists within this council or a previous council member. That's not debatable. That's a fact. It's not a fact. You're out of order, sir. No. That is Harrison Hot Springs Mayor Ed Wood, and he wants to get to the bottom of one particular thing. I am willing to personally put up a $5,000 reward to find that mole. You see, someone is putting letters in mailboxes around town. They call themselves the Mole. The letters are highly critical of the mayor and the councillor who supports him, and the mayor's conduct in both his political and personal life. And the mayor thinks he knows who wrote it. The Mole exists within this council or a previous council member. That's not debatable. That's a fact. Well, not a fact. You're out of order, sir. No, I'm sir, speaking. You are. I am speaking. You're out of order. So, at Monday's council meeting, the mayor put on the agenda a motion to find a lawyer certified in moles, to find the mole, and to prosecute the mole. And the three councillors who don't support the mayor weren't too happy. In my opinion, this is not a council issue. But should the two individuals wish to pursue it further, then I would suggest they go through the RCMP or through civil litigation. And one of them brought up the fact that he's been feuding with the councillor who supports the mayor for decades. I've had hundreds of letters from a former mayor and councillor who's sitting here this evening that's accused me of everything from the sun going pink to the water going brown and everything else about me, my family and my children. Mr. Mayor, it's been, it's been absolutely deplorable because of what I've had to put up with for 25 years. So the mayor lost and unsurprisingly, he wasn't happy. For this council to take this ball letter and let this be distributed throughout this village is an absolute disgrace. Every one of you should be shameful of your actions. Now by itself, this would be a strange, potentially concerning council meeting, except it follows months of controversies. In just one year, every major staff member has resigned or retired. Then a councillor resigned. Then the fire chief resigned. Those against the mayor on council have filed a motion of no confidence against him, along with a motion trying to stop someone from posting mean things about them on Facebook. Now the province hired an advisor to try and help. But a month ago he finished his contract. And this is what happened just minutes after they voted on his final presentation that asked them to get along. Yeah, we're at no point of order. The agenda has been approved. Councillor, councillor, you don't. I am calling point of order, Councilor, Mayor Wood. Councillor, you do not have the floor. Point of order, Mayor Wood. Councillor, councillor Vidal, you're you're out of order. Please sit down. So to summarize, Harrison staff left en masse after the election. The mayor and council are locked in a feud marked by decades of personal squabbles. Meetings often end in shouting matches with nothing accomplished, and the police are also investigating a possible assault against the mayor. It's a combination not seen anywhere else in British Columbia, but when we asked the Minister of Municipal Affairs if they would take any action, they said the following. I expect all members of council to use the learnings from the coaching and mentoring sessions the municipal advisor conducted and to implement the recommendations from his report. We know this process will take time and I look forward to hearing about council's progress. And we can see how that progress is going. But what if Harrison Hot Springs didn't have to exist? After all, while small, it isn't in the middle of nowhere. It's actually surrounded by the district of Kent, which has provided stable government for a much larger population for many years. Now, to be fair, that's unlikely to happen. But if the province doesn't step in, what happens next in Harrison Hot Springs is anyone's guess. Justin McElroy, CBC News, Vancouver.